Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe out. In the previous one we played as Henry and demolished, you can see it there actually, we demolished greed mode, which we had accidentally already done, but hey her. Um, ooh, Tainted Apollyon. Do we have Tainted Apollyon unlocked? I hope we do. I hope we do. We do. Okay, let's do Tainted Apollyon. It's been a little while. Um, the Plague Bringer, Abyss, and we'll try and do maybe Beast? Could do a beast run, that could be fun. I can't remember what the unlock for beast run is as Tainted Apollyon. But yeah, I like this character a hell of a lot. Um, especially with the mod that we have on Abyss Plus Plus. Um, really good mod that just adds a ton of synergies to Abyss. Uh, a lot of them that were cut, from, like, I won't say cut from the game, but were going to be added but never were. So we are going to um, have a play around with this guy and see what we can get done and hope we can keep our streak alive because yeah. Been trying to build a streak for a while, and it's not been going all so well, and uh, we're finally actually getting something going. So, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Ooh, the head. That was close. You almost got me with your head there. Um, I don't... Th I think Fiend Folio items do have uh, Abyss Locusts, but I think other mods don't. So, if we see certain Fiend Folio items, I might try it, otherwise I might not. I think the ones that do have them have um, EID descriptions anyways, so we can tell which ones do and which ones don't. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but I have to take Dirty Mind. We've been getting it loads recently. We, we had it on our last run. Uh, but it's just Dirty Mind is just, like, so much fun. Especially on Fiend Folio, where there's, like, so much, so many more varieties of poop that actually work with it. It's just a really, really fun item. Um, and I didn't read what the Abyss Locus was, but I'm sure it wouldn't be anywhere near as fun as this. So, Dirty Mind it is. Dirty Mind it is. One half heart. For two half hearts. What a deal. What a deal. Right. Hopefully we can get him to just jump. Yeah, like I said, jump into the dips and take a ton of damage. It'll knock him back and deal quite a lot of damage to him. So it's all good. I mean, he kills him real fast. They're gone in an instant. But as I've said before with Dirty Mind, um, it actually replaces Rocks with Poop at a small chance. So we're still going to get more back regardless. Also, I'll say it again in this episode, but... Um, Three tan locusts that do a lot less damage and increase speed and tick rate. Yeah, I'll take those. I'll take those. Um, let's keep it going. Um, yeah, my fan's on in the background because it's quite warm at the minute. I apologize if you can hear it a little bit. It's probably noticeable only faintly. I do apologize if it's bothering y'all. Um, either way, for the question of the day today. For the question of the day today. Hmm... What's something that a lot of people want to do, like bucket list items that you just have absolutely no interest in? What's something that's just like completely like out of the question for you? Um, for me, it's like people that want to go like climb a mountain or like go, go up Mount Everest and stuff like that. I just c couldn't, no. Like even a smaller mountain, I just have absolutely no interest in spending like an entire day hiking up a mountain just to see a view that I can see on Google Images. It's so cynical and like, I would say cynical, but like, I've realized it's not the same as seeing a Google Image, but I just, the amount of effort, time and money it would take to do, I'd just rather go on Google Images. There's certain things that I'd want to see, like I'd want to go see the Grand Canyon and stuff like that. Um, ooh, yes please. Um, I don't know, Grand Canyon, stuff like that's a bit different. But um, stuff that takes like an immense amount of effort, Increased hitbox. Lovely. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I love the fact that with Abyss Plus Plus, it doesn't just turn bad items into damage, it also turns some good items into some good locusts, too. Some obviously good items are just good to keep as items, but there is ones that are uh, better to, te to change over to the dark side, as it were. As you can see, we're already doing good damage here. Ooh, a troll bomb. How kind of you, game. How kind of you. But yeah, this, this penny uh, trinket we got has all penny trinkets in it. It can activate any one of them, including ones like Curse Penny. Uh, not Curse Penny, what's it called? The one that teleports you. Um, is it called Curse Penny? I can't remember. But yeah, it can be it can be annoying, but it can also be really good. So I don't know if it can activate multiple penny trinket triggers on one penny pickup. I'm not quite sure about that. We'll, we'll sort of find out as we go, won't we? Extra key, lovely. Really? Why do you make me have to do this? I mean, to be fair, we're killing him pretty quick, so it's not that big of an issue. I just find him annoying regardless. 
Okay, he's in second phase now already. It's mi mainly it's the middle bit that I don't like. This this really long, like I've got to wait so long before I can start hitting him again. Like even now, look, there you go. You got to wait until the fire appears before you can actually start dealing damage. And the thing is, he dies so quickly in the second phase as well. So it's like you got to wait all that time, and he just ends up dying like really fast, anyways. That was a really really dumb move by me there. I lost my I lost my devil deal play for no reason, and I got teleported out by a penny. Um, actually, let's go quickly go to our shop. We've got the money. But eh, it's whatever. We lost our devil deal. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, blue locust with an increased speed. That's exactly 25% chance to inflict slowness. That's a golden version of the uh, bad company. Don't think that's going to be super useful for us, though. Uh, but I'll, I'll take that and grab it. 25% chance to slow seems good to me. Righty her then. And maybe actually, let's let's do the other rooms because maybe we can get enough charges to get the uh, the corn kernel abyssed up as well. We've actually got really good damage with the the locust that we've got so far. Thank you for that. Quickly go back this way. A little bit of a lengthier floor, I know, but it is what it is. I don't mind doing my due diligence to. Uh, Try and get a little bit extra out of our abyss if we can. I mean, there has to be another room after this, which I don't think there will be. Yeah, unfortunately there isn't. Actually, we could go, we could go into our boss trap room here. Probably pretty valuable to get the item anyways. It'll give us the charges. Obviously, it's a bit of a risk, but... I'm a risky boy. I like the way that a lot of our flies here have different speeds, so they all come out at different intervals. Whereas normally on the when you have just the red ones and the vanilla ones, they all come out at the same time. So let's um go boom. There you go. Why? Okay. Really? <laughs> really? Not what I intended, but hey her. It's pretty funny. I'm sure fire rate's pretty good on this. Yeah, the fact that I got teleported into here via dealing damage to myself on the fire. Oh my god, it's just silly. It's funny, but it's silly. Please don't get hit. That would be very, very bad. See what our second boss ends up being. Could be something really horrible. Something really horrible. We could we could very, very easily die here. I mean, we've got good damage on this guy. You do this fucking super speed thing. Oh, there you go. That's that's the thing I was waiting for there. I'm going to use another bomb. Okay, good. Woo! Made it out alive. So funny that it teleported us in. But wh why really, of all the fucking penny trinkets it can trigger, does it trigger the teleport twice? If we had another key, I'd definitely go for that. But we do not... And this corn kernel, I don't know if this has a, a specific Abyss++ plus plus synergy, or if this is just going to be like a regular locust, but it's worth more than the corn kernel either way. Oh, no, it does have a specific one. It has a corn one. Okay, so unfortunately, the Fiendfolia ones don't have external item descriptions of what the locust does, which is a little bit inconvenient for us, but still, we got a, a corn boy here. You got soy milk going. So we don't actually know what this locust is doing, apart from it looking like a piece of uh, corn. It looks more like an egg, to be honest. A very, a very, very yellow egg. All right, let's hope we can get a, a red heart and a soul heart pretty darn sharpish. This is a room that I'm not enjoying. Oh, dude, these little... Dude, these little fuckers. Especially with the webbing here, I really do not like my prospects of not getting hit in this room. Why is the knockback on these little buggers so high? <clears throat> Just about did it.
good. Cyan glowing locust with a greatly increased speed that has a chance to teleport enemies around. Hell no, I'm just going to take that as it is. There ain't no way, ain't no way I want to be teleporting enemies around. That sounds awful. And also, to be fair, we can keep our devil deal potentially alive with, um, with this glowing hourglass anyways. I can't remember, is it, is it three uses total or three uses per floor? I don't remember. I think it's three uses total, right? I haven't used it since it got nerfed. Or changed, I say. Not, I don't know if it was really a nerf. Can't remember. I honestly can't remember. I think it's three uses total. My, three uses per floor makes more sense, though, I'll be honest. But does, can it still turn into the regular hourglass? I can't remember. I don't remember how it works. Dippy friends, do your thing. That was beautiful. With a red heart there. Eee! Black key. Doing us proud. Aha! You've dove into the poopy, uh, poopy death zone. You don't want to challenge me in the poopy death zone. Like, I think this arrow of light thing gives our tears, like, insane knockback or something. Because, yeah, we are just, like, knocking back enemies, like, absolute crazy. It's kind of annoying. I like a, a good bit of knockback, but not this much. Stay- Ah, oh, you bastard, you managed to get the nickel, you fucker. Slowing is good. It's nice that we have the ability to slow now with this, uh, broken, uh, broken, what was it? Broken stopwatch? Yeah, broken stopwatch. Red Heart Locust, that's a small chance to charm enemies. It's actually pretty good. We don't want to go in Devil Deal. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, and we will keep on moving. Keep on grooving. Keep on going. Come on, Angel Deal. Speak your wisdom to me. Just hope that we can get actually to the angel deal and make it. But we, I think with glowing hourglass we should be able to. I wonder what the chances for this to charm are. Not that, okay, there you go, charmed right there. Not that it's super necessary in a room like this, but in general it's pretty good. Why did I do that? Okay, for some reason I did that and then was like, nah, that's going to be really bad. Because I was like, oh, it's going to spawn her skulls. And I realised that's, that's skulls. Doesn't make any difference if we do it to, uh, mushrooms. Golden penny. Oh, for fuck's sake. How much is this going to end up teleporting me? Please don't be a lot. Seems like it doesn't trigger the penny trinkets all that often, though, here. Unless it doesn't work on golden pennies. Oh, there you go. It definitely does. Okay. Beautiful. Knock back on those flies. Look at it. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy, man. This is back again. Knock back on you is kind of crazy, too. You, of course, I just have to kind of wait it out. Not so bad. Extra key. Shop would be good here. Oh, God, these guys are kind of tricky. Oh, we get some stone poopies in here. Just realised. Nice. Stone poops. Pretty useful. Rainbow Locust that does 1.1 times has a lower chance to charm and fear enemies. Yeah, we'll take it. 
Although that would have been a soul heart, so I should have maybe just picked it up. I'm going for a, a like a oh it's a rainbow locust I see. Um, I'm going for a really like all locust run at the minute. It's fun. Just taking the absolute necessary items or ones that I don't have the charge to uh to abyss like the uh, the arrow, which I probably would have abyssed otherwise. Dude, the knockback. It's insanity. That's what it is. It's insanity. We've not seen our shop yet, have we? Good. good. Okay, luckily, these guys are normally a pain in the ass, but the fact that we can slow them plus having dips makes them way easier. Because they can't they can't dash through the dips. So basically just use them as a wall. Also, you pair out with the soul heart on death, right? That you do, and we got our angel deal. Awesome. I'm gonna just take this because it's um, it's damage, and I might also want my abyss charge for going in here. Yeah, we'll take that as well. Actually, that's more damage. Okay, good. Go to the next floor. Oh fuck! Got to go to my shop. Ah, it's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. This is a pretty good run so far. I think we are still gonna do, gonna do the beast here. I think. Seems like a good option for us. I've not really been hit all that much, to be honest. Been pretty lucky with that. I mean, I think it's because we've got kind of a dip army protecting us for the most part, but just in general, we've been doing, we've been playing reasonably well. We've got good damage on our locust as well, and now. The Bell Clapper is pretty good for damage. Of course, we do lose that damage over time. It's not going to mean much later on. It's kind of a bad angel item overall, to be honest. I can't. I wouldn't really call it quality 3 myself, because it's a damage up that completely nullifies itself eventually. If it, like, just gave you a 3 damage up and nullified it itself down to a 1 damage up, and that 1 damage up never went away, I wouldn't rate it quite as badly. Because it, could, like, nullifies itself completely, or at least I'm pretty sure it does. Kind of leaves a bit to be desired. Got a lot of status effects applying chances as well here. Hmm. Did not like that room. I'm gonna have to go all the way back over there, aren't I? Yep. Item room and shop are all the way back this way. Actually, let's just do our boss now. Why not? Bad boss. Very bad boss. This is a boss that I still, still to this day, don't really understand. Oh, did that not hit? Bollocks. I still don't really know the attacks on this boss very well. I just know that I don't like them. Look, look at the dips there. You can't dash through the dips and it's really causing him some trouble. Nice. We got perfection. I mean, okay. Green locust with greatly increased speed. Yes, please. Okay. Back we go. We have an absolute locust army. We've actually got decent damage ourselves as well. Hopefully the dips can perfect my can protect my perfection somewhat. Lovely. Shop. Eh, it's not very good, even at half price. Don't really think I need it. That is an item that I should probably just take. And let's get out of here. Let's go, go, go. But yeah, extra ability to generate HP. It's going to be useful. I like it. Go, go, go. Also, one interesting thing about glowing hourglass as well is I suppose I could use it to check 
if a modded item has an Abyss Locust or not. Right, last floor. Well, last normal floor. Right, gotta get our uh, Fool card. Keep an eye out for it. Kind of tricky. You're good. I, our health is actually looking really good, you know. I didn't think our health would be so good. Our fire rate is abysmal, I will say. Hey, there's a soul heart already. Items paying off straight away. Gotta love it. Oh. God's sake, why'd the chest have to spawn there? I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I don't care. It's too much walking around. Oh my god, the knockback. I managed to knock him straight into a fire. That's so funny. What the hell? So fucking crazy. Yeah, Perfection is going to give us a lot of chests here, which is rather nice. Not super necessary for us, but nice nonetheless. If we can keep Perfection alive, that is. Which is debatable. God damn, the, the rebalance of those blue blocks is so nice. Okay, we might lose perfection in this room. These guys are always fucking me up with the herming shots and the poison and that. Okay, though, we got him. If only we could have perfection and left hand, then we could just get a ton of red chests. But it ain't gonna happen. I still haven't seen our uh, rock yet, I don't think. Good. Ooh, poison. Careful for that. Why does it always put trinkets right in front of the door? Stop. What the hell's this thing? Is this an enemy I've seen before? This seems new. Oh, no, I have seen that enemy before. It is a little unfamiliar, but I have seen it before. Still waiting on that rock. God damn, these, these dudes are really annoying, the worm guys. God damn. Haven't really, I guess I haven't really used glowing hourglass, but haven't had the need. Um, transparent locust with herming, that's a chance to inflict fear. More chances to do effects, I like. I'm just taking it. Nothing in this room. I think the bigger rooms can't even have this skull in it anyways. I absolutely love, like, just this. This is one of the things I love about Abyss Plus Plus. You just got this absolute rainbow of uh, different locusts. And one of them actually is a rainbow locust on top of that. It's great. Thank you. There it is. I found the Tinted Skull. Thank you for my Fool card. Do the boss now, why not? Okay, we got Red Mum. Red Mum's probably not the best for this, because it's going to be kind of hard to hit all of our Locusts. Just because they're all going to be, like, hitting the wall when she arrives. Oh, really? What a terrible way to lose perfection. I kind of got myself caught against the wall. It's going to take forever, because we have really low base damage ourselves, and our Locust is going to have a really hard time hitting her. Because they're just kind of slow like that. That helps. Oh, bugger. Now I'm taking a lot of damage. Oops. Nice. Angel deal could come in clutch here. We have done boss rush already, so we don't need to do that. Yes, it came in clutch. I'll just take that. The locust could be fun, but I'm just going to take this. Ow. 
Can I get a locust for one of these guys? Although our fire rate is fucking shocking now. I always forget that Sacred Hearts has tears down. I don't think I can get birth in one go, can I, sir? I'll just do that. Yera? Nah, I need to fool, don't I? Right, I'll, I'll at least check what's in here. Ah, yeah, nothing crazy good. Full card out. And away we go, baby. Away we go. Yeah, so we've got Sacred Heart, but we don't have tier. Like, our tier rate is absolutely abysmal, so it doesn't really help us all that much. The Herming's obviously good, and the damage up's nice, but overall it doesn't do much for us, because our tiers are now shockingly slow. Oh, our tier rate. Tier rate, sorry, is shockingly low, should I say. This is horrible. Good. And also, we have really high shot speed for some reason. Even though we have, uh... Doesn't normally lower your shot speed like crazy? Why is our shot speed so high? Whoa, what the fuck? I pressed a button that I didn't even see. Ow. Ow. Fuck me. Okay, this isn't going great. Health-wise, things aren't going right. There's a crawl space in here somewhere? There you go, hello. Nice. It's a black market crawl space as well. Oh no, it's not. One single dip to help us out. Probably should have used our, um... Ah, uh, glowing hourglass to undo some of the bad damage I've taken, but it's too late now. Justice. Justice. Right. Shop and that, where are you? There you go, there's a shop. Shop, can you give me a tears up somehow? Technically, yes, you can. <laughs> Te I was like, kind of joking, like, there's no tears up in the shop. That is one of the tears up that's in the shop. I don't think there's any other ones, but that's one of them. Right. Item room you don't need to go to. Yeah, you, you can abyss this and it gives you a special locust. Why? If you abyss this, you're soft locked. pretty funny. Oh god. Oh god. What an annoying ass room this is. Oh dudes. Fuck you for just landing up there. I can't hit you when you're on top of those. You've realised that, right? Like, this isn't fair. Thank you, you finally landed. Ow. My bad. I'm just going to take the damage here. That's a pretty big damage up as well. Right. Let's see how we do here. This is scary because our health isn't great. And I don't, I don't really know how our damage is, because our fire rate is super low, but our damage stat is decent, and obviously we've got all these locusts to add to that damage. It's kind of hard to keep track of, really. We'll just shoot our shot and see what happens. We are going to get soul hearts on occasion on the way, though, potentially. It's not super, super likely every room, but... It can happen. Destructive and disturbed, just like his... To be fair, I should take that, like, 3 HP. Gimme, gimme. And say, why not? It's gonna be a free life, right? If I remember correctly. If that's, that's how that works, I think. This enemy is terrible. Thank God we feared him, because then he couldn't shoot us. 
That enemy's real bad. Into the light we go. Luckily, we're picking the right way a lot here. I seem to be reasonably good at that on the ascent, going the right way. Okay. This fear is awesome right now. We keep fearing the enemies and they just can't shoot at us when they're feared. This is 100% a bomb out of here sort of situation. That room was awful. This room's also pretty awful. There's a lot of ways out of here though, so this might not be the best idea. Yeah, there you go. How did I- I was about to say, how did I not get hit there? Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna glowing hourglass and undo that. Beautiful. I ain't doing those rooms. No, no thank you. Okay, it is three uses per floor. Okay, nice. Hey, extra half soul heart there. Booyah, baby. Booyah. need that. And again, oh god damn, we're going, getting through this quick. I like it. Basement 2 already. We could, we could re-roll the whole run. It wouldn't re-roll our locust though. I think that's an overall pretty bad idea. Kind of like glowing hourglass for just navigating around rooms like this. Really annoying room that's going to take a while. Just bomb through it. You go the wrong way, don't matter. Just undo that, that travel. Go somewhere else. What an annoying enemy this is. Oh my fucking life. Uh, I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to skip this room. Do you steal my glowing hourglass charges? I have no idea. I'd not like to find out. Oh my god, this is infuriating. Maybe this is so hard to hit. Oh, he, he did! He negative charged my glowing hourglass. Are you kidding me? You cheeky fucker. I'm confused. What, what, what's, what's happening? Oh my god, that's such an annoying enemy. Fuck you. Dude, fuck off this... This, mm. this fucking enemy's tragic. I hate it. I honestly think one of the biggest mistakes they made with the beast fight is allowing you to bomb out of rooms. Not enough people take advantage of it. It's so powerful. There's so many rooms that it's just like annoying and you're gonna get hit on, so just bomb out of them. You should not be able to bomb like like you like on the chest, you should not be able to bomb out of rooms. Okay. Unfortunately this floor, I've been going the wrong way a lot. I don't know what the hell they did to my negative charge with uh with it being red, but doesn't seem to have affected us at all. We can still use it fine. Really? You again? Okay. A little bit simpler this time. Got hit there. I'm just going to take it on. I'm just going to... Ah, no. I can, I, can, I can redo this room. I shouldn't get hit again. I even got a half soul out of it this time. I gained health. Hey, here we go. Right, up we go. All good, all good. <gasps> Mr. Dolly. 
I'm going to take Mr. Dolly for the tears up. I need it. Oh, that's such a huge tears up. And the health is also very nice. That's actually pretty good. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we use this here. Ah, oh, what? Where's, where's inner child? Do I have to unlock inner child? I think I do, don't I? Chance to inflict freeze. We have so many chances to inflict things based on our locusts here. Right, okay. Tier rate is actually not terrible now. It's it's a lot better than it was. Damage is pretty good. This shouldn't be awful. Can we not can we not start the day off with double of this? Please. Okay. TV kill is going reasonably well here. All my bees are gone now, pretty much apart from two. My poopy bees. Perming should be me still hit, hit here regardless. That was terrible movement by me there. It is what it is. The right. problem now is just hitting the locust is difficult, but when you're in this position, it's pretty good. You just sit there. Now we got to suffer through this for ages and unfortunately not kill you because this takes forever. Oh no, we got him. We got him mid-spin. I like that. Apparently a trinket dropped in that room at the end there. It's on, on the minimap there, look. Fuck. Right, now how quick is this going to end up being? Reasonably quick. Not very quick, but reasonably. Just getting the locusts to hit is a bit of a pain. But it can happen, and it will happen. Alright, nice one. Glowing hourglass has charged. Really don't know how that would work in this fight, but I probably don't want to use it. Oh, that was so stupid of me. Oh shit! Ah, oh, come on. Got the opportunity to actually get some extra HP in here. Missed out on it. Right. You are deaded as well. Okay. Mini bosses aren't taking too long. Oh, I can abyss something. Yay. I don't I don't remember which one has the least health. I think it's pestilence. I think pestilence dies the quickest normally. Nice. Got it before his bomb even exploded. I'm trying to stay as close to him as I possibly can, because the closer you are, once the locusts hit, they can reset. So, basically, I can get a lot more DPS out of my locusts if I sit really close to him. It's a bit risky, but we've got so much HP that I think it's worth it. Oh, we frozen. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing with this guy. Sit as close as we can possibly get. I think we have a second phase in during this attack. Ah, oh, come on, not quite, not quite. Oh no, we just skipped it. Okay, that was that was a quick kill. Maybe this guy has the least health then. Okay, beastie time. It is beastie time. The beastie boy. 
shouldn't be too big of a problem for us. God damn, I love looking at our rainbow. Rainbow of locusts, it's lovely. God, I fucking love the music in this, it's so good. Right, I don't think it's gonna be a super quick kill on him, but be reasonable. Actually, it's, it's going pretty quick. Ah, oh, bollocks, I got I got caught in his gravitational pull. And again, no way, what the fuck? Whoa! That was weird. I got like double pushed into him. That wasn't great damage there, but that's what it is. Oh, that brimstone is so fucking cool. Still remember seeing that for the first time. Right, we're into the last phase now. On the home stretch. Yeah, freezing him, petrifying him is so funny in this phase. Because he keeps moving, but his animations stop. So weird. But there you go. Pretty much a classic Abyss run. Tainted Apollyon. Done and dusted. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hey, it's Echo Chamber. Hell yes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.